Hey everybody, Joyce for today. We are playing Sonic Mania. This is part 3, and we are here doing Quest Garden Zone Act 1. This is the second original level in the game. And the main gimmick of it is obviously, it's like a quest place. And these people see yeah, and this sort of thing. Um, yeah, the people don't know the newspaper is. It's what we use before the internet. Ooh, fancy. I don't know why I'm acting like I'm old, that old. I'm not. Uh, this is. These people are even before my time, too, so. Yeah. Anyways, bonus stage number six, I wanna say. I think this is considered the hardest one. This is not number six, no one is five. Number six, I feel like it's the hardest one. A lot of people will also think it's the hardest one, so. So, um. Plus, cars are. I like it. Aesthetically, is my favorite, one of my favorite levels. I like the idea behind it. Like, oh, it's like a, well, it's a quest, but then the second act completely changes out it up, and it becomes like a god. And it's like in the, it's like in the middle of this giant, like factory. There's like a little sanctuary in the middle. That's fun. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I think it's the one special sort of stage I actually failed. No, that's another one. We've only got one. I don't know. Yeah. So, how's everyone doing today? I've been doing great. I'm recording the guy with you. But, yeah. Put it down in the comments below. Um, have any of y'all bought this game? Or Sonic Mania Plus? Or just the original Mania that came back last year? Put that in the comments below. Press it today. Yeah. Have you bought this Mania or Mania Plus? And there is our boy. Wait, let's show the screen. Thorn? Oh, that's not a Thorn Kill something. Wow. I thought we were a lot farther than that. Yeah. Uh. Oh, here's another thing. Something I like y'all to put in the comments below because I was wondering. Would y'all like me to do, like, extra parts? Like, would y'all want me to do, like, a part talking about, like, all, like, the extras? Like, like the extra little mini games you can unlock in the game, the blue speed and all that. We all just want me to just upload the game, that's it. So I'll unlock all the extras again, just so I can show them off to y'all. So that's up to y'all, put that in the comments below, and I'll do it, or not do it, it's up to y'all. And the extras I'll probably show off is like, the sound test, the... Mean Bean Machine mini game, the what's it called? Uh, probably show off Time Attack. Just do like Mean Hill One or something. Now I'll probably also show off. I'm gonna do competition mode. I do want to show off competition mode, but that will probably be some side little mini series video set of videos. But if y'all want me to do like an episode two on a part of two on the extras, let me know and I will do it. Um. Oh, I don't know how much to talk about this level. Um, right there is so um, that is flat. He is based off of the enemy from Sonic One that was never uh, was lost content. What do you call that? In the beta of Sonic One, that's what's called the beta. Uh, fun fact: the background was his mate. Mate, well, there was a fun fact. In the background, where it has all the newspapers, it says Mania. And the rest of the levels cannot be made out. Made out. Even if you pause the game, which I've tried to read, it cannot be made out. Made out. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Here's another game. It's it's very like library like. Like you have these nice like weird looking little letters, and that's because it's trying to show off all um, like all like. What's that trying to show off? That's like um. Something we don't use that very often anymore. Stamps. That's what it is. Wow. Does anyone even use stamps anymore? Oh. But it's basically a shrine. It's like those kind of look at like those old stamp things you use to like stamp on like a note or something. I don't know what the gimmick is. Like I know the gimmick is supposed to be like a little like rolling quest, I believe. I believe that's what that's supposed to be. Again, the music's great. I just love the music of almost any video game. But yeah. 
And then those are more. Yeah, those will disappear when you can only stand. Step on them when you're lit up. It's like A's are not lit up into the yellow color. And I think it's only A's and T's that ever light up. I know A's one of them, I'm pretty sure T's the other one. There's also a section right there where you just crunch through a bunch of blocks. Yeah. Uh. Oh, here we go. So, interesting fact about this only with Mania Plus. If you look at the, if you have the game, actually, wait, no, we have a boss fight. Never mind. All right. So this boss is quite simple. Um, basically, you have to have he'll try to shoot you with his little arm size. We want him to hit those yellow and green boxes. I see there, his arm gets broken off, and that's where you can hit him. You just want him to keep hitting. Aiming for that. If you break, he'll break the blue box, I won't break his arm, but the other ones, I guess, are just too. the too hard, I guess. Yeah. Why yeah. well, it's kinda hard. Whenever I go into a boss fight, I'm, if I get hit, I'm just like, stop spamming. Yeah. And that is the first boss of today's part. Today's part. And yep. And now this is where we're going to go to Act 2. Act 2 is completely different. The kind of made this a completely different zone. And you would have noticed it because... Well, except for the gears application. Uh, but yeah. This is the god that part of Press Scar. I was talking about. Now the force of gimmick is you have these little, like, ice... You get stuck in these ice blocks. Okay. So, as you saw, you can also play these... Lots of ice get items and boxes and wings and all that. And there's also these sawmills that are to the right. Um, those sawmills, you step on them, they'll crunch down. So if you want to go lower or higher on a certain path, this is the only part of the I have to pop this on the The little little hitting each other and move each other. So yeah. Oh, it's also. Let's see him again in the end, but there's these little like, bug guys have been flying around, and that's how Tails got stuck in ice there. Or they'll all uh, drop ice bombs at you, and they'll turn you through the block of ice. Yeah. There's also those little woodpeckers, they'll knock on the wood, or peck the wood, and they will drop bombs. So now on the bonus stage, this is number 4. Bonus stage, time for back, come back. So, if you have the physical version of Mania Plus, Sonic Mania Plus, if you grab your art book and you look at the back of it, the back of it, you look at the very top of it, there is Morse code on it. Which I didn't even notice when I was flipping through, because I flipped through this a couple of times. I was like, oh yeah, that's cool artwork, and I loved it, of course. But on the back it says, together we are greater than the sum of our parts. A nice little message that suits the Sonic Mania vibe. Oh yeah. I kind of wish I would have found this on my own, but when I was just, I was just going through a bunch of, what do you call them, a bunch of articles, and then I stumbled upon on my group. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, here's me doing try number two of special special stage four. Because I try to go through the little box and fail. No question about the the same Sonic Mania plus the physical version. Not only do I got the physical version, did it pay for the DLC. Well, um, it has this cool reversible cover, which if you flip it around, it has this. Genesis art cover, which I'm pretty sure, pretty sure it's made by a fan actually, and they asked the fan they could use the artwork or something, or they, they either got a fan to do the artwork or they found, or they, they asked the fan they could use the artwork, and obviously they agreed, and now we got that cool little Genesis with the cover, I find that pretty cool. Oh so yeah, uh, again, I think this first stitch you can see a lot more when there's less bumpers. 
so that's why I kind of you see me going onto the door a little bit. As you know, I'd rather keep going, slow down instead of die. And yeah, I think this is the first stage I had the most trouble with for some reason. But I normally don't, so. We come back to Best Garden Zone. Where do you that was actually, I didn't know that special room was there. That was my first time going to that special room, so I, that was a surprise for me. Mm. Mm. Pretty much all this level that has offer though. Again, here's that little wood sawmill where there's a way to the wood pack of it. Those are the bombs that I dropped down. Yeah. And yeah, I got hit. No, I found I stopped on this new glitch rail. I got hit by a bomb while climbing a wall at Knuckles. This is the Nintendo Switch version. And I got stuck there. It's like Knuckles is like in his fall getting what fallen animation. He's just stuck there inside the tree. So yeah. yeah that's not supposed to happen. You're supposed to get hit by that. It's not dodge trip. Right here is Heavy Shinobi. No, all all of the sound effects, sound effects, sound effects come from what do you call it? Uh, Shinobi. His name is literally Heavy Shinobi. Basically, he'll throw these values at you, and you have to force. You can only hit him when you jump at him while he's jumping, or he'll slice you up in that you in that ice, and then you just gotta you have to jump against him. See why I died. You gotta jump against him. You can hit him once, or, normally once or twice, and then he'll die after eight hits. Just like all the other bosses. Anyways, you can take a try where I actually succeed. And I actually try to dodge. A lot of times I normally, I normally just able to watch this boss. I feel like I had a lot of problems. Maybe. I don't know. Or is this my first time playing on the PlayStation version? I did do, I did do a complete test playthrough, but I played the, like the first. I play Comic Plan Green Hills and Boy recorded so I get the feel again, but I don't know. I'm not sure if there's anything different on the PlayStation version or the Switch version, except for different console apps. Oh, I haven't talked about the Hot Wheel Heavy Steam. Take a listen to this. That is the end of Plus Garden Zone, yeah. yeah. I believe the next stage is Starlight Speedway. Yes, it is, it is Starlight, Starlight Speedway. Which they changed quite a bit for Mania Plus for some reason. Which actually, if you have this normal Mania, even if you don't buy the Mania Plus DLC, you still get the whatever changes you did. Like a lot of the cut in between acts. Acts and zone cutscenes they have here are actually new. Like the one after a flying battery, it uses Fade Black, but now Tails and Sonic Tails have the little pale gliders. And we'll see more of that throughout the playthrough. And I'm trying to mention it. Uh, the only thing they changed about this level, the Speedway, was that the Metal Sonic Sonic. The main game of this level is you get bounced around a lot, you gotta kinda aim. You have to like right here, you have to hold to hold the right at the right time to so get through different pathways and all that. And there's just a little beetle dude, like that guy right there. Fireflies. Wow, I'm kinda Those little firefly got dudes, they um they'll shoot the light beams at you, we'll have a boss featuring them later. You also got these little spring launcher things. Which they'll move around and you shoot out of them, of course. Yeah. Those, these are little, those are little like, what? Some web towns are basically the speed boosters. That's just what they look like a Sonic CD. So that's why they, the Sonic CD stuff. Yeah, see, that's what they're for, guys. And then, what I just hit actually released a bunch of 
wildlife, which we'll see later, but I just kind of went past it. And here, but we'll see more of that later. Damn. And yeah, here's more of those launchers. This launchers are actually looking like the. Whatchamacallit? Um, the lo little speed boosters, basically way they'll start on this level. Anyways, uh, I, this is another song, of course I love it. And right here is where I was talking about the plants, the flowers that come out, and then you have all the little monster plants you gotta start. That's nice, it's a little bit crazy. I'm going to do it. It's what, another chemical plant like level where you just speed along a lot. I've never been on this path right here, so I wanted to try to get in that path. I did, I, for the most part, I went through a new path in this playthrough. Just try to get some new feels. Anyways, this is the boss. It's a giant, one of those firefly enemies. Where you see the shoot gun, the laser beam, they are them together, which is only the boss fight to do that. And that's where you just destroy both of them. You don't have to destroy one of them, but I always destroy both of them. And he'll do this giant laser beam. You cannot hit him, even if it doesn't look don't look like the laser, you still cannot hit him. I actually just saw it. Yeah. That's just me playing well with sign. Again, you came out so loud infinitely. So yeah. And now we got a neat little throwback to CD. <laughs> And now we're at Stardust Speedway 2. Act 2. Zone 2. Whatever. Basically, this is the good future. Because back. Alright, now I gotta explain Star CD. Basically, Star CD, there was time travel. And there was a little sign. That little sign push we hit. Where it said future. There was a future, present, and past one. And basically, you had to go to the past, destroy Dr. Robotnik's roboticizers, I believe. And then you had to go back, then you go back to the present of the future, and it'll be a good future. But it'll tell you, like, Sonic, Sonic, the, so, I got, how it says, like, Sonic beats act, act, like, act one of Green Hill Zone. So, like, Sonic beat a good future, Tom, Tom Speedway or something. Well, I just use Stardust Speedway. Good future, Stardust Speedway. Or bad future. So, yeah. And this level has those bouncy things again. There's a bunch of screens bouncing you around everywhere. Yeah. That's mm, basically we have more of those little can of sh shadows, shooters, your dog fireworks, which I went on one earlier. I don't know how to use this. Thing. Like things that catch us so properly. But they're all little fireworks you get. Grandma, too. And light on. Anyways, here is our boss fight. This is a very quick level, especially knowing what you're doing. I think there's an achievement for being in under a minute. Just to level up the level. The boss fight's like a whole nother like two minutes, actually. But, anyways, this is my favorite character during the entire Sonic the Truck series Metal Sonic. Basically, you, you have to waste them, just like start up being away from CD, and I, I'm really good, I used to be really good at this, back when I used to play this game like every other day of my life, but now I'm not as good at these jumps here, but I did really good on his first, on his second phase here, so I don't know, but I actually got really lucky with what he did. So anyways, Son Metal Son will get in here, and there'll be a Silver Son here. You want to jump into the Silver Son. You can normally try to ba bounce them around and balance them, but I just do this. Now, no sometimes they'll do this attack where they'll like, use like, feet boost, the feet, feet will become like, jet boosters, and they'll like, jet around, and that when you attack them, you will bounce them around. Some of these did not do that, 
So, I got really lucky. Anyways, this is the new boss fight. Fancy polygamy stuff. Yeah, this is the level to Knuckles Chaotic. So this is what he looks like, except he was wet, I believe. And you had to defeat him like this. I don't know the name. It's not Metal Overlord. Metal Overlord was Sonic Heroes. Yeah. It's also kind of a reference to, I believe, it's the final boss of Sonic Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles. Where uh, it was someone who's chasing you. Yeah. I was feeling really good and then I kind of fell. But he'll do these, this attack where he throws out the little bombs. Like that. Yeah, I got, I just kind of skipped through the deaths because I didn't want the job to do that. And then, but then he also has this attack where he does a laser move. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You have to do, he'll start shooting a laser, he'll shoot the laser beam dynamically. So he'll hit the white bottom line corner of the stage. So you just, you just stop at the beginning, it becomes closer and closer to him. So yeah. I think what I I got tails to hit it uh, mo most most of the time I got tails to hit it. That's why you kind of keep seeing me jump towards him, check get tails to hit it, kind of cheap, be cheap about it. But you know, see I got him to hit tails to hit it again. And you cannot his his left hand, the hand that's in the background won't hurt you, but the one in the front will. Here's that laser gun. Right. I thought I could duck under it, but that obviously didn't work. And why their tails just wailed on him? Why right, here's a laser beam? There we go. Basically, tails are like six minutes for me. I'm just like, well, I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. Gotta do the final hit. So, Sonic, yes. He's Sonic. Anyways, that's it. And oh yeah, the fair things are there. You know, we beat the game as well. Or a little bugger to do that. Anyway, that's the end of today's part. I'll see y'all next time. Bye!